saturate it. It's just waiting. All right, is the weekend looking any better? Weekend looks a little bit better, but man, it's a rough start. Ugly start to the weekend. For tonight into Saturday morning, those winds are going to kick up. So hopefully we can dodge the power outages, but it will be borderline for a wind advisory because those gusts can go up to around 45 miles per hour. That's not even talking about the storms. The storms, of course, can push the winds even stronger than that. The timeline is going to be from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, this will go until Saturday early morning, so overnight. And then the heavy rain is anticipated, but once again, there is a threat for those winds going up to 50 miles per hour or greater. And you're going to notice on the, our map here, uh, we always use these severe weather outlooks to kind of give you a heads up. Before the watches and the warnings come, you always get the outlooks. A level three would be an enhanced risk of severe weather. And a level four, this is rare. This is a moderate risk of severe weather, which shows that it's anticipated. Strong tornadoes and large hail. We'll call it a severe weather outbreak. So keep in mind that red color. Look at the large area that's expected to get this rare severe weather outbreak. We had one last week for our, uh, the, the deep south around Mississippi, and you heard about the damage that that did. So here we go again with yet another rare high risk of severe weather. We're on the outer fringes of this, so we'll get the leftovers. Uh, scattered storms are going to flare up later tonight. Those could be strong to severe, and it looks like they'll kind of taper off where a severe storm is a possibility a little bit later tonight. 41 degrees outside right now, dealing with some leftover rain in Macomb County. This is really the last of it that we've been dealing with all morning from Macomb to Sterling Heights, Richmond and New Baltimore. Once this moves east past East China as well as Algonac, we should be okay as far as uh, the severe weather potential. But just for a couple of hours, we'll stay cloudy. Temperatures will hold steady in the 50s and then we'll gear up once again for this heavy rain to return. The ground's pretty saturated, so we're worried about flooding, of course. So now's the time just in case. Uh, to prepare your basements for it as it moves as the system moves through. Some of that rain could be heavy as far as the timeline goes. Once again, your afternoon looks OK, but by the evening around 8 o'clock, the leading edge of this moves in, but it's not going to be until around midnight where that severe weather threat comes through Metro Detroit. Winds kick up behind this, so even if once again, if the storms they don't reach that severe level, the winds alone could easily gust up to 45 miles per hour. Overnight lows are really just a snapshot in time. Temperatures will continue to drop. I'm going with 51 in Detroit by around 7 a.m. or so, but the numbers will continue to drop. Therefore, by the afternoon on Saturday, 50 degrees would be the high temp and 49 on Sunday. The difference between the two days this weekend is that Sunday will be brighter but cooler, but we bounce back. How about the 60s for much of next week? The rain is back too, but it has that perfect spring-like feel. I'll take the 60s. Thanks, Mike. Well, it is.